Hello everyone, welcome again to another Freak Bit. On this one, we're going to use GIMP to resize a batch of photos. And sometimes you'd need this to, for whatever reason, it could be to you to put it up on your personal website, it has to be a certain size, all the way to, you know, you're making yourself a custom contact sheet and there's not an automatic script to run that. So the uses for this can be quite varied and it also could be to help maybe even email a couple of photos off to a friend or colleague. Now, one little caveat here with GIMP is because it does do a lot of file formats. However, just make sure that the files that you're getting ready to batch convert is something that GIMP natively understands. Things like raw formats, it does not natively understand. So if you're going to try to do this raw, Go ahead and convert your RAW into something, you know, like a high quality TIFF, something like that, in order for this to work. Also, I'm not sure if this is part of GIMP natively, because I have installed a bunch of plugins into my GIMP through a plugin pack. You might want to go ahead and get the plugin pack that gives you a little bit more functionality. It's also free. Also, the same thing with your uh, operating systems other than Windows. Go ahead and download that pack. Um, just Google for it. It'll be the quickest way to find these for your for your setup. So without any more talking from me as far as in the caveats, let's go ahead and get into this. Now, to do this, you do not have to have any images open in GIMP. You just have to start the program. Once the program's up, this is where we're going to go to get this started. We're going to go to File we're going to go down to batch image manipulation when the dialog appears like this <clears throat> we're ready to go now we gotta set this up guys this is not like you know big old box that might appear in like Photoshop or Photoshop Elements or some of these other programs that will allow you to do this type of thing we gotta tell it what we want to do in order to do this what we will do is we'll click, click up here to set our manipulation set then we'll go down here and tell it what we want to convert and then over here we will tell it where to go now you can put the things back into the same folder I don't recommend this I recommend putting it in a different folder so you'll know hey look here's my resized photos for one and for two if it keeps the names of the resized files you're going to overwrite your originals and you might not be a very happy camper when that occurs so that's what I recommend I also recommend before we even start just my recommendation you don't have to follow it is all the images you want to resize have them in a separate folder ready to go so that way you don't you don't have to click here 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 um, you can do that with this and I'll explain that in a minute but just to make it quick and easy dirty and nasty just get a little forethought say hey I want these images put them in this folder and I'm gonna resize these alright let's go ahead and get on with this so on the manipulation set you see this add button you click this and it brings up a drop down you can resize crop flip rotate color correct add a watermark if you wish change the format compression you can rename with a pattern which is great you can do that too or some other GIMP procedure what we're going to do is I'm going to resize I'm going to also I'm going to also uh, change the format now we can do rename with a pattern if you want but I'm trying to keep this as short as I can so first thing I want to do is resize so I'm going to click that and your resize box will pop up and for me I don't want to do a percentage because I'm not sure of the percentage of the change so I'm going to say uh, exact size and pixel for both dimensions. Now if you only want it to fit like in a certain area, like okay, I know on my website it's a certain width. Well, you could just do one side. You don't have to do both. So that's actually kind of a nice feature. But I'm going to do both dimensions, 640 by 480 is fine for me. Now another word of warning, of course this shouldn't go without saying, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be said. If you're going to try to upscale, which is make it bigger than its original size, you go too far and it's going to not work too well for you. Be careful when you upscale. 
Now you can also downscale something and change its resolution and things in this box. Just be careful how you do it. Now if we want to get into like printing photos and things like that and, and everything, we can visit this box again and do some experimentation with it. But for right now, I'm just trying to reduce things down for website. That's my scenario on this one. But as you guys can see, you can also change the resolution here. So you can also upscale it up for print if you needed to. Just be careful how far you go because the computers can only make so many pixels before it starts to look like just total junk. So just be aware of that. So for me, I'm just going to leave 640 by 480, but you, you would set your your ending resolution in that and just click OK. If you notice, now we have a box here. That's our resize. The next thing we wanted to do in this one is to go ahead and change format and compression. If you click in this drop down box here, the window that appears, you got quite a few options you can choose. For me, I'm going to use ping. Now you can use JPEG, you can use you know GIF, whatever your situation is. I'm just going to use PNG because I know the input I'm putting in is JPEG. Um, I'm going to put zero compression on these which means they're going to probably be a little bit bigger. The advanced parameters, if you want to save the resolution, creation date, if you have any comments, you can do that. I'm going to turn some of this off. Um, I just turned one off, actually. If there's more checked, you can check these as you, as you like. I'm cool with what this is doing. So I'm going to say, okay, ping, okay. So now what it's going to do is this thing's going to take whatever's in here, resize it, change its format and then save it out. And that's what I'm making this do. Now down here we gotta give, tell it what to do or what images we're gonna select. <clears throat> now if you just click add images it'll bring open a box you can just select key images put it in here and it will list the files in here and be ready to go. Right below that does the exact opposite. You can just you know select stuff in here click that and it will remove those files out of the batch so it never gets processed. What we're going to be doing in just a moment is doing add folders. And what that will do is allow you to take it, the image of folders and plop all those images into the processor at one time and it's done. You don't have to worry about nothing else. Remove all, well, that just makes this box go white again. It just takes everything that's in here and just cleans it out so you can start again. So we're going to click on add folders and what I'm doing here guys is I'm just navigating to the public profile on Windows and in the pictures folder there is some sample photos that I'm going to use. So I got the, the item clicked here and I'm just going to say add and once I do it all of a sudden just pops all of my files in here. So these are what I want to do. Now I need to click on this button here. It's, this will be blurred out because of the system I'm using. I'm not going to try to broadcast names of the people that use this system on the internet without permission. And they told me no, so I'm going to respect that. So I'm going to click this button. And what I'm going to do here is look on the let's go here on the to the desktop and now I'm going to create a folder here with this button up here and I'm going to type in resized images or you can type web images whatever your situation is and once you hit enter it will go ahead and select it up here and be blank and all you gotta do is click OK because now when you look at your output folder here it will be the one that you just created. These two options here if you are going to try to put it back into the same folder and it's going to keep the same name structure <coughs> excuse me this check mark will light is basically a safeguard saying hey look you're getting ready to do this are you sure you want to overwrite the file? That should be your first warning that hey I might want to choose a different folder. Now, however, if you're going to do batch processing and everything's in subfolders, like as far as in like location name or dates, 
and you want to keep that hierarchy with this processor, you can check this and what it will do is it will resize it but put it back into that same structure hierarchy so that way you don't have to go resort everything when it's done. I've not tested that. Um, try it out. Let me know how that feature works. But I'm just giving you a rough idea how to do this real quick. So now that we got everything set up the way we want, I'm going to click apply. And it's going to give you a process bar. Now, I only have a few images here. The longer, the more images you have, I'm sorry, the longer this will take. But however, mine was fairly simple. It didn't take long. And you should get a green one and it should say exactly this. End all files have been processed with zero errors. So if we click close, we go to file and we go to open. This is a <laughs> prank that I did um, to somebody. Let's see here. I'm looking for my folder. There it is. And see now, <clears throat> there's it says PNG. All these say PNG on them. And it, it's at the size that I asked for, which is 640 by 480. <clears throat> the originals were 1024 by 768, by the way. But, you know, just to show that they still open and everything's good, this is a quick and nice way that you can get it done without costing any money and do something fairly quick. So, if you have GIMP and this plugin is in there natively, great. If not, grab the free pack, put it in there, and for no money and without having a whole bunch of different utilities on your system, you could just get it done, knock it out, and move about with your day. I hope you find this useful, and thank you for watching.